get up on your feet. What you need to do is catch up with her. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were the surprise stars of tonight's Royal Variety performance show, when Will was cajoled into taking part in a comedy sketch by the show's host, Miranda Hard. Kate burst into fits of giggles when the Duke gamely took part in a comedy skit, obligingly shouting the catchphrase such fun whenever Hart requested him to from the stage. Sitting in the royal box under a spotlight, the Duke performed his part enthusiastically, while the Duchess dissolved into fits of laughter. Hart said that compelling Prince William to participate in the show was on her to-do list for the royal variety duties. Hart had kicked off the show with a reference to the royal guests, singing There's No Duchess Like Show Duchesses during her rendition of Irving Berlin's Annie Get Your Gun classic. She later asked whether the Duke and Duchess, who are expecting their third child, were suffering throne envy after she sat on a grand gold and red seat on stage. Addressing them in the invented plural of your royal highness, she promised more royal audience participation to come as the night went on. And she held true to her words when she convinced Will to participate by shouting her catchphrase such fun on request. Kate, who is four months pregnant with the couple's third child, looked stunning in a bespoke Jenny Packham crystal embellished, full-length blue gown. After their unexpected participation in the show, the couple enjoyed performances by Paloma Faith, The Killers, Lewis Tomlinson, Seal and the script at the London Palladium. With 89 shows spanning 105 years, the event is held in aid of the Entertainment Artists Benevolent Fund, of which the Queen is patron. The couple last attended the event in 2014 when Kate, who was then pregnant with Princess Charlotte, showed off her burgeoning bump in a black lace gown from Diane von Furstenberg a dress also owned by Prince Harry's girlfriend and room at fiancé, Meghan Markle. Harry, who is tipped to announce his engagement to Miss Markle any day now, attended back in 2015 when he met stars including Elton John and Jack White. The royal couple are attending the London Palladium in the Royal Box, accompanied by Laurie Mansfield, life president and executive producer of the Royal Variety Charity, and Giles Cooper, chairman and executive producer of the same. The Royal Variety performance takes place in aid of the Royal Variety Charity, of which the Queen is patron. It dates back to 1912, when King George V and Queen Mary William's great-great-grandparents agreed to attend a Royal Command performance at the Palace Theatre in London. The first instalment was in aid of the Variety Artists Benevolent Fund and its proposed plans to build an extension to its Brinsworth House home for elderly entertainers. A second royal show was performed in July 1919 and billed as a celebration of post-war peace.
It became an annual event at the suggestion of George V. in 1921, when the king decreed that the monarch or a senior member of the royal family would attend an annual performance in aid of Brinsworth House and the Royal Variety Charity once a year thereafter. This was to demonstrate the royal family's love and support for the entertainment industry and its associated charity. Today, it is watched by an estimated 152 million viewers worldwide, bringing the cream of international talent to the London stage making it the most successful and longest-running entertainment show in the world. The money raised from the show helps hundreds of entertainers throughout the UK who need help and assistance as a result of old age, ill health, or hard times. Traditionally, the Queen has taken it in turns with the Prince of Wales to attend the show, but Harry, William, and Kate's repeated attendance is a demonstration of how the younger members of the family are increasingly stepping in to help the Queen in her tenth decade. Charles and Camilla watched the performance in 2013, while the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh last went in the Diamond Jubilee year of 2012. Kate, 35, returned to royal duties in October, after battling a bout of hyperemesis gravidarum, an acute form of severe morning sickness, which forced the couple to announce their baby news earlier than planned. Bedbound at Kensington Palace, she was forced to miss Prince George's first day of school at Thomas's Battersea. The origins of the Royal Variety performance date back to 1912, when King George V and Queen Mary agreed to attend a Royal Command performance at the Palace Theatre in London, in aid of the Variety Artists Benevolent Fund. In July 1919, the second royal show was performed and was the first to be billed a royal variety performance. Held at London's Coliseum, the show was staged as a celebration of peace. As the official announcement expressed it, had been commanded by the King to show his appreciation of the generous manner in which artists of the variety stage had helped the numerous funds connected with the war. The Queen, later known as the Queen Mother, followed by young Princess Margaret at the Royal Variety performance in 1951, left, and Sarah, Duchess of York at Hens in 1986-1966 saw the entire English football team take to the stage after the World Cup triumph, and in 1967 Sandy Shaw will be remembered for changing from her stage outfit to meet Her Majesty the Queen, a mini is fine on stage, but I am told it would be more elegant to be presented to the Queen in something a little more special. The 2014 Royal Variety performance returned to the London Palladium and welcomed the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge for their first time, the Duchess being five months pregnant with Princess Charlotte. The show will be remembered for the hilarious anecdotes of host Michael McIntyre who got so enthused by the audience reaction that he ran over by 40 minutes. Highlights included Ed Sheeran and Ellie Goulding appearing on the Royal Variety for their first time, the hugely successful One Direction, Britain's Got Talent winners Calabro and the amazing Dame Shirley Bassey who proved that after all these years she is still one of the greatest female singers of all time, 